Hello and welcome to Rahman Digital Production. This is lecture number 4 of Physics 5054 of O Level. And we were dealing with the uh, unit number 1, which are totally about the measurement. We learn different techniques and we learn about the different instruments that how we will use to measure different things. We started the we started the exercise and you know that exercise in the this book is given in two different ways one is called section 1 and the second is called section B. In section 1 you are given the multiple choice question in which you have to select only one option. There are no two correct options in it. So, the second part is section B in which structure questions are given and you have to think and solve. These are the type of application of this chapter in the physical world. Yesterday, we did question number one. But because we were running out of time, so I did it quickly. Question number one is saying fill in the missing units for the following physical quantities. They gave a, uh, uh, given the physical quantity and in the second column they give SI unit. You have to write, and this is super class easy. Number one is the mass, and they given you an empty space. What is the SI unit of mass? That is kilogram. Kilogram. Now, the second one is given is length. So, this was the first and the second one was given as length and length is always denoted in meter. So, that was the second and the third one is time and time is always in SI unit denoted by second although there are minutes but the base unit is second. That was question number one and now they are testing you in question number two as the uh, prefixes. We talked about the prefixes and in this exercise they will give you. They did one for you. For example, in A part they are saying. 1 kilogram is equal to 10 raised to the power 3 gram. Ladies and gentlemen, this gram is written as at place, but kilo means 1000 and 1000 in index notation can be written as 10 raised to the power 3. The second one is given as 1 dash s. The B1 is 1 dash S is equal to 10 raised to the power minus 6 S. So, it means that there is 1 microsecond. You have to write it 1 microsecond. And in the C part, they are asking that 1 milliampere. 1 milli ampere, 1 milli, m is smaller, not mega. This is milli ampere. And you know that milli ampere is 10 raised to the power minus 3. So, 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 ampere. You have to write. In the D part, they given us as the 1 dash M 
is equal to 1 dash m is equal to 10 raised to the power minus 2 meter. 10 raised to the power minus 2 meter. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we have to write this centimeter. This is centi. Cent means percent. Percent means 100. So, this is 10 raised to the power minus 2, 1 over 100. That is a smaller unit in this. The next one E is given is 1 centimeter square is equal to dash meter square dash meter square first let me tell you the answer and then we will derive it 10 raised to the power minus 4 the students are always asking that how Listen, ladies and gentlemen, 1 centimeter is equal to 10 raised to the power 2 meter, minus 2 meter. Now, because this is given a centimeter, so we have to take square on both sides. 1, 1s are 1 as many time you are multiplying but this will be equal to centimeter square again this is equal to 10 raised to the power minus 2 square and this will become meter square which is given to you here so it means that 1 centimeter square is equal to square 2 raised to the power 2 means 2 multiplied by 2 so, 10 raised to the power minus 2 whole square is equal to 10 raised to the power minus 2 and 10 raised to the power minus 2. And that the bases are the same, so the power will be added. So, it means 10 raised to the power minus 4 and that is why I wrote it. In the F part, they given us 1 dash watt is equal to 10 raised to the power 6 watt. I think we talked about the theoretical portion that it is megawatt. There is a question inside the past papers and they are saying that for megawatt whether this one is the symbol whether this one is the symbol, yeah, whether this one is the symbol, yeah, this one is the symbol. So, this is the correct answer. When we come to the uh, uh, past paper, then we will do this question. Uh, the question number third is saying that uh, I am giving you this figure and you can look it very closely and pause the video and observe it then start the video and then we will talk about this vernier caliper now ladies and gentlemen if you have observed after pausing the video then let us do and if you are not understanding it you can go back and then come forward in the third number question a part in the third number question a part first we have to find first we have to find the least count the least count first we have to find the least count and least count is equal to least count is equal to one division of main scale one division of 
मेन स्केल डिवाइड बाय टोटल नंबर ऑफ डिवीजन ऑन वर्नियर स्केल टोटल डिवीजन टोटल डिविजन्स ऑन वर्नियर स्केल लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन ऑन वर्नियर स्केल स्मॉलेस्ट डिविजन इज वन मिलीमीटर इन ऑन वर्नियर स्केल देयर आर टेन डिविजन देर इज नो यूनिट ऑफ इट यूनिटलेस दैट इज वन मिलीमीटर एंड देन वन बट इन सेंटीमीटर we have to find and this is equal to 0.1 mm but we need in the centimeter but in centimeter we need it in the centimeter so in the centimeter 0.1 divide by 10 0.1 Divide by ten. Zero point one is this value, which is equal to zero point zero one centimeter. And you know that this is the least count of vernier caliper. This is the proper way of this. If you give a very close look to the main scale reading of that. vernier caliper and i told you that you have to observe it and that is equal to 20 mm that is the main scale is 20 mm which is equal to 2 cm which is equal to 2 cm in vernier scale division Coinciding, coinciding with the main scale, with the main scale division, and if you give a very closer look, then four will be. exactly straight to each other that will be exactly and we have to multiply it with the main scale uh, the least count multiply i am writing this that there must be a least count and you know that the least count we found is 0.01 cm so we will be able to find this as 0.04 this is coming out to be 0.04 and right after this ladies and gentlemen we have to take the total reading so total reading is equal to main scale reading plus vernier scale reading vernier scale reading we took 2 cm the vernier which is here and then 0.04 cm which is here i should write centimeter here and here as well so this is equal to 2.04 cm here is and that is the ultimate answer of part number a that was the answer of part number a now we are going to do part number b and part number b is asking you that what is 
the precision of the vernier calipers compare with the millimeter rule and the micro screw gauge so i have to write for you people a standard vernier caliper a standard vernier caliper a standard vernier caliper has the precision of 0.1 meter has the precision of 0.1 meter remember we are comparing different 0.1 millimeter not meter it is 0.1 millimeter or 0.05 millimeter or 0.05 millimeter some are having this and some are having where is a micrometer has an accuracy where is micro meter has an accuracy uh ladies and gentlemen it is having an accuracy of uh the 0.01 mm 0.01 mm here it is it means that the precision of this is they can give you a near caliper one division after the decimal and they are giving us two division of a uh, 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 two division in the uh micrometer when we look about digital calipers when we look about the digital calipers digital calipers when we Uh, see uh, look about the digital caliper the reading becomes 0.01 the reading becomes 0.01 one is analog and the second one is the uh, digital micrometer is also they are having two digit uh, accuracy the reading becomes zero same as a micrometer same is a micrometer yes vernier caliper is also then having the accuracy of so we are concerning if we are comparing these two which is the b part and now we are turning our focus to the c part uh they given us that they had kept a cylinder inside the vernier caliper jaws and they are saying is this the correct way no it is not the correct way if it is not the correct way of holding the cylinder like this then explain your answer why it is like this because the width of the slab or slide might not be because the width 
of the slab or slide may not be homogeneous homo genius what does it mean it means that might be this is like this and somewhere it will be like this and on this as well so here the width is 1 here the width is 1 so the width may not be homogeneous all the way homogeneous all the way it will not be homogeneous all the way so the widest area of the slide will be not so the widest area of the slide will not be will not be uh, the same will not be the same uh, the same in the slide width so they will not give you the correct answer if it is exactly homogeneous then correct you can hold it like this but if it is not homogeneous then you will not be uh, 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 getting the correct answer then the question is saying that you have to find how you will find the accurate answer the precise answer so first we have to take this area we have to hold it like this then in the middle and then in the bottom and then find the average so that will give you the precise answer i am writing this as well to get a precise answer we have to take reading in three different areas and then we have to find the average and then we have to find the average okay ladies and gentlemen okay ladies and gentlemen we are doing the question number five because in question number four graph is required and there is the concept of simple pendulum inside that so this is beyond there is a relationship between time period and length but we are not doing that that is not that much important in my view uh, because graph and doing on graph we have to take the value of g from the graph so we are doing question number five and before that if you are having the book you can see from the book but those people who are not having the book so this question this vernier kelly per reading you must have to take pause it observe it and then see the question the question is saying the diagram is in enlargement of part of a micrometer screw gauge 
the upper scale is in the millimeter and the lower scale shows the intermediate half millimeter division the screw has a pitch of 0.50 millimeter ladies and gentlemen yesterday we talked about the pitch that what is pitch one complete rotation and how many division are they moving on the main scale what reading is shown describe briefly the measurement you would make to determine the diameter of a piece of copper wire so looking on the main scale reading they are ladies and gentlemen there is this like one is this and one is this one is this and one is this one is this so if this is zero and this is one this is two then this is 0 0.5 this is 1.5 and this is 2.5 and so on so if you give a closer look to the so it is the main scale reading is 12.5 the main scale reading is main scale reading is equal to 12.5 you can confirm that and that is in centimeter so there is 12.5 now thimble scale reading the circular scale thimble scale reading and that is the circular reading and if you see the datum line it is in coincident with 14 with the 14 number digit it is with the and you have to multiply it with 0 0.01 why because this is the least count and when we get it it will be 0 0.14 0 0.14 centimeter now we have both the reading so total reading is equal to main scale reading plus thimble scale reading and that is 12.5 plus 0 0.14 so if we are adding 12.5 and 0 0.14 so this will be equal to 12.64 centimeter 12.64 centimeter so it means that we are having 12.64 centimeter is the final answer ladies and gentlemen tell here we could do this in this chapter hopefully it cleared your basic concept about the measurement if you are having any question please ask in comment section i will respond to you i will entertain your questions ladies and gentlemen tomorrow inshallah we will start the second chapter that is also very important and if you want to be good and sharp that is speed velocity and acceleration study it and then you will feel comfortable thank you for watching my video please subscribe it and press the bell icon and support me have a nice time Allah Hafiz